Got 41,314 pounds of packaged food going from Sterling to Spring Boats. Spring Boats. Steam Boat Springs. There we go. That was hard to say for some reason. Who knows? Anyway, to the Walbert Steamboat Springs. P3 389 Extended Hood. <clears throat> um Let's take a look at the truck here. Looks like I got a six hundred horsepower, two thousand fifty foot pound with a max max side torque EST. 318 speed 318 which is 18 speed um, the engine is an N14 Cummins 600 horsepower back we got 53 foot Reaper with a triaxle quad Quad axle, not try quad four. Had it attached, so let's go to it. Got the winter weather mile on. No, not the physics. Don't ever use the physics. Making a, a left hand turn right on here. And here comes the train again. Not surprising. Don't know what that PHB build is doing, but. I think it's having issues. Which is alright. I think it's up there and have its issues. We'll go around it. Oh. What happened? Looks like it's sunk into the ground. I said we was going to go around it, but yeah, I think I can squeeze through there while they try to figure out what life is. So we ain't going to take out on a stop sign or anything. We'll have to up on the sidewalk a little bit, but it'll be okay. Yeah, well, we got this. Excuse me, don't mind me, Bobo. I'm just trying to drive through here. There we go. Begins one way. I was going to do another multiplayer episode, there was like a thousand some people on, but I kept getting kicked off and it, it pissed me off and I said to hell with it, so here we are. I downloaded a brutal traffic mod, but it kept crashing the game, so go figure. So I thought we'd take just a nice relaxing run. We'll kick back and enjoy ourselves. And see what happens. If something's gonna happen, it always does. Yo, Loki and 
Julesburg. Go ahead and stay in the right lane here. Stop for hitchhikers. What that sign back there said. Stopping for hitchhikers is usually a bad thing. Don't suggest doing it. I myself have done it before. twice though. I did have some crazy crackhead woman come up to my truck in the middle of the night and say that there someone else kid another driver kidnapped her and blah 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 a whole bunch of shit. Wanted to come in my truck, and I said, "No way, no, nothing to do with none of that crap." Come bang on the side of the truck in the middle of the night, I'm trying to sleep. I was watching TV actually. This dude does out in the Arizona. No, he's out in Nevada, out in the hills, collecting uh, rocks, gems, and stuff. He's a pretty nice dude. He takes them back and cuts them, polishes them up, and sells them. Gonna go or not? I mean, come on, I'm giving you the chance here, right, Aiden? See, I think I picked him up in, uh, why did I pick him up at, on, on 40, just west of, uh, or just east of Flagstaff. Took him all the way to Albuquerque. He said he's going to go down to 10, bottom of Texas, so. I was going to stay on 40 here in Oklahoma City. Go ahead and get around this guy. I don't really remember what the other one was. Oh, it's some dude that broke his leg, had a broken leg. He's trying to get to the next truck stop. For some reason, I don't remember what it was. Whether he really broke his leg or not, or if he's more using it as an excuse to get a ride, I don't know, but... Yeah. Which is like a couple hours down the road, so I didn't have no problem. Even though we wasn't supposed to, company policy, but... I still did it. Not something I would suggest doing. 
There's a lot of creepy, scary people out there. I think that's a quiet Jake break on it. change transmission out in this thing. I had the one in there that was like a four four twenty gear ratio and it'd only do like 50, 55, 60 mile an hour and that was it. Like I had it set up to do like heavy haul. Which I still have another truck set up to do heavy haul so no big deal. Down. Yeah, actually, yeah, I have. Um, they're just east of Los Angeles. As San Bernardino, I do believe it was. I broke a fan belt. And, uh, truck overheated. Well, I told them that the fan belt broke. Because the truck started getting hot. Their reply to me saying that was, okay, keep driving it until you hit the next, uh, terminal. I was like, okay. <laughs> said, if it locks up, then it locks up. I'm telling you, the fan belt's broke, the water pump ain't turning. So, they didn't seem to care. Of course, it's old, almost half a million miles on no truck anyway, so it's time for it to retire. The same truck, what's the same truck? I was north of Denver, Colorado. We blew a water hose or a heater hose in the cab underneath the sleeper of the truck where the radiator runs to the back to the little heater cord back there in the back for the sleeper yeah I blew a hose there I had to spend the night outside some bar, bar and grill or something like that. Lucky enough, I wasn't too far away from a terminal when that happened, so. Surprisingly, I was just right down the road from it and didn't even know it. They sent the mechanic out and he was like, well, just a couple of miles down the road, it's a terminal. Drive it there. I was like, okay works for me. I want to sit in a cold truck. Then the same truck the clutch went out in it and that's when they finally said enough was enough with that truck and the 
gave me a brand new one. So. The reply to the truck, the clutch going out was, well, can you still drive it without a clutch? I said, well, you can drive it without a clutch, but taking off is kind of an issue. I'd end up waiting almost a week and a half before they got the clutch in and changed. Just to drive it to Phoenix, Arizona to pick up a new one. traffic offenses turned on otherwise they'd give like a fifteen thousand uh, dollar ticket or some crap like that I think it's fifteen hundred not thousand some of my adventures that in my experience with truck driving so far of course I've had two people take off the mirrors and the whole front clip of the hood and stuff like that parking crap but that's going to happen regardless I mean that's just something we're going to face truck driving you will get in the accidents it's inedible for that curve. We made it.
15 mile an hour curve. Must be a sharp one. sharper than what I thought it was. My like, guy got the houses up there with the lights on. Don't see it shining through the windows, that's freaking neat. Transforming. 
America. It's a little hill right here, isn't it? come around us. Steep grade on a way champ ground, five miles. Great next seven miles. Good air brake sound what? We're in the hall and ass truck. That's what it says on the front of it. We'll show you once we get up here. Daylight. We'll take a look at the whole thing. trailer axles. Not that dark. There must be the one on the other side. Right there. set up now. <laughs> we 
There's a tree right there somewhere in there, in the pole too. Tree, it's off far enough. We should be good. Can't straighten it up. A little bit too far over to the one side, but it'll, it'll still be good. Eight hours, 57 minutes, 88 gallons of fuel, $10,297. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you in the next video.